हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम यूनिट इंटरपोलेशन हियर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू बी रिमेंबर वाइल सॉल्विंग न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन इंटरपोलेशन ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट मेथड इज न्यूटन्स फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्म्यूला सो वॉट इज द क्राइटेरिया वेन वी कैन यूज दिस मेथड फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया इज डेटा शुड बी इक्वली स्पेस्ड and second criteria is this method is used when value is to be find it out at starting of a table for example let me take some values of x and y suppose 0 5 10 15 these are values and we have values of y as 3 10 21 and 32 now if i want to find it out what is the value of y when x equal to 3 so here if you observe this 3 is at starting of a table so therefore we have to use newton's forward interpolation formula second method we discuss is newton's backward interpolation formula so criteria for this is data should be equally spaced and when we have to find it out the value which is situated at end of the table for example from this data which we have given suppose we have to find it out what is the value of y when let me take x equal to 13 which will be at end of the table so therefore we will be using backward interpolation formula third one is stirling method which is which comes under central interpolation formula so again for that case data should be equally spaced here value to be calculated is at the center of a table what obvious because we are talking about central interpolation formula and here value of u if you observe is in between minus 0.25 to plus 0.25 and the last method is bessel's central interpolation formula so again for that case criteria is same data should be equally spaced and the value which is to be found it should be at center of the table already we have gone through what do you mean by equally spaced data and unequally spaced data now again here if you observe uh, what what this value it will your value of u will be in between minus 0.25 here it is not 0.25 it is plus 0.75 now let me take uh, how to remember a formula now when we have to use a first formula which is newton's forward interpolation then we have to prepare a table like this x and the y so if this element is x0 then this element will be y0 so this element will be del y0 then del square y0 del cube of y0 so we have to take all these values and then we need to substitute in the formula which is equal to y will be equal to y0 plus p into delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square y0 so if you observe here whatever will be the power here of delta that much factorial will be there at denominator and if you multiply this p into p minus 1 you will get it as p square minus p so here also order is 2 here also power is 2 again if you go for this p into p minus 1 p minus 2 upon 3 factorial delta cube of y3 so again here uh, power is 3 if you multiply this you will get equation in the form of p cube like that and here you will have a three factorial likewise you have to expand depending upon your data where p equal to x minus x0 upon h where x0 is the first value from the table h will be equal to step size which is equal to x1 minus x0 and x is nothing but the value which is to be interpolated similarly we have to use a backward interpolation formula a table whatever we have prepared for a forward it is same for a backward but what to do here instead of taking these forward values we have to take these backward values so let me take suppose this is your xn so here it will be yn then this is your del yn this will be your del square of yn this will be your del cube of yn so formula will be y equal to yn plus r del yn plus r into bracket r plus 1 upon 2 factorial del square y n plus r into r plus 1 r plus 2 upon 3 factorial del cube of y n where r will be equal to x minus x n upon h again h will be equal to step size x1 minus x0 
x n is nothing but last value from the table and x is nothing but value which is to be interpolated. Now the next formula is nothing but a Stirling formula. Now how to remember this? This will be your x0, this will be your y0. Okay, x0 and y0 is there. Now instead of taking like this, it is, it is wrong here. What we have to do, it should be like this. Okay, means we have to take these two values, not these values. There is a mistake here. So these two values, then this one value, then these two values like that. So if it is x0, this is y0, then this element, this will be your x of minus 1. So this is your y of minus 1. This will be x of minus 2. So this is y of minus 2. This will be your x1, x2. So this will be your y1 and y2. Now what is this element? If you see this element which is we have taken in the bracket, it will be delta y of minus 1 by 2. Delta y of minus 1 by 2. This value is nothing but it is denoted by delta y of plus 1 by 2. Then this value which we have taken here in the box, it is nothing but your delta square of y0. So and how to write this formula then? y equal to y0 plus u uh, into bracket delta y minus 1 by 2 plus delta y 1 by 2 upon 2 plus u square upon 2 factorial delta square y0 then plus u u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial delta cube of y minus 1 by 2 and delta cube of y plus 1 by 2 divided by 2. Now next if you see here plus u square into bracket u square minus 1 uh, uh, divided by 4 factorial into delta raised to 4 of y0. So now what is the value of u? u will be equal to x minus x0 divided by h. This h will be equal to x1 minus x0. I forgot to write here h so that's why here I have written here u will be equal to x minus x0 upon h. h is the step sign. Similarly last formula is nothing but a Bessel's formula. So this will be your Bessel's formula. So this is your x1, this is x x0 this is your x1 so this is your y0 this will be y1 so what is this element this element will be equal to uh, if you observe it is del y of 1 by 2 now you will ask me sir why we have made it like this design this is just for understanding purpose means we have to take this element after that here we have to take these two elements and then we have to uh, do average of this then these elements so this is your del y of 1 by 2 this element is nothing but your del square of y0. This element is del square of y1. Then this element is nothing but del cube of y1 by 2. So formula for Bessel's central interpolation is nothing but y equal to y0 plus y1 divided by 2 plus v minus 1 by 2 del y of 1 by 2 plus v into v minus 1 upon 2 factorial del square y0 plus del square y1 divided by 2 plus v minus 1 by 2 v v minus 1 upon 3 factorial del cube of y1 by 2 where here this value of v will be equal to x minus x0 divided by h where h is nothing but your x1 minus x0 please remember while making a table uh, of forward and backward first element will be x0 here this element will be x0 but while making uh, uh, the table for a central difference, whatever value which you have to find it out for the y, the corresponding near value it should be considered as a x0 or you can say middle value will be considered as a x0. So the previous values will be x of minus 1, x of minus 2. Next value will be x1, x2. So like that you have to remember this design. So based on this design you will be able to uh, remember all the formulas. So you can say this will be a gist of this unit interpolation. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any kind of question. Thanks a lot.